Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Daily Doc Talk. I'm your host, Dr. Drew Timmermans. I want to answer a question today that I get a lot, which is, what is prolotherapy? So first, prolotherapy stands for proliferative therapy. Uh, the original term for it was sclerotherapy, which sclerosis means to scar. And so the initial kind of concept of it was to scar down tissue so that it was no longer painful and was more stable. However, uh, kind of in the 50s and 60s, it was refined to be proliferative therapy or prolotherapy. And so that kind of, you know, indicates what we're trying to do with that. And it's to proliferate cells or to regenerate cells. So that way they can become uh, more stable, uh, less painful, and patients can get back to doing what they want to do and love to do. And so the concept of uh, the regenerative injection world is that concept of how, what cells can we proliferate and regenerate in order to create uh, a stronger connective tissue and that mainly uh, you know in prolotherapy centers around the fibroblasts and so the fibroblasts are little cells kind of in the connective tissue that are going to help to uh, make collagen and therefore going to help in the repair process and the regeneration process following an injury and so we can kind of make use of those in the prolotherapy and try to stimulate those to lay down more stronger and thicker collagen so that way the tissues are stronger. And so the actual solution for prolotherapy, uh, the main one that's used today is a hypertonic dextro solution. What I mean by hypertonic is that it is more concentrated. When you put it in the body, it's going to be more concentrated than the cells around it. And so it actually does a few things. It acts as a local irritant to those cells. And when we have that local irritant, that's a reminder to the body, hey, there's some damage, there's some inflammation here, send some of your healing factors so that we can repair it. Uh, so that's one aspect of it. And then two, through that, it actually stimulates the fibroblasts to lay down new collagen, which is then going to be stronger and therefore less painful than the collagen that was there before it. And so in terms of the percentages, because uh, it's important to make the distinction because perineural injection therapy, which helps with neurogenic inflammation or inflammation around the nerves, is also a dextro solution, but that is not a hypertonic solution. It's actually a 5% solution. And so the solution that we typically use for prolotherapy is between 15 and 25% dextrose, which is a big difference in the 5%. Now, with the, uh, with the dextrose in the solution, we also typically will use a uh, local anesthetic just to help with some of the post-injection pain and things like that. We'll also use a natural anti-inflammatory called Tromiel, and then we add in some uh, methylated uh, B12 as well just to kind of help with that methyl cycle in the area of the regeneration where we injected it. We want a local tissue effect because uh, B12 can help in that repair and regeneration process. And so that's what prolotherapy is. The, um, the main conditions that we're treating with it are going to be osteoarthritis, any chronic or degenerative conditions such as tendinosis. So you can think of, uh, you know, an old supraspinatus tear that never fully healed or, uh, you know, medial or lateral uh, epicondylitis, which is actually more of an epicondylosis because there's a degeneration, not an active inflammation. Um, and then any old chronic uh, ligament sprains. And so that's probably one of the best areas that prolotherapy does is when we have this ligament that has been damaged in the past, it's been stretched past its certain point, and it now creates pain signals because of those stretch receptors that are in it are getting continually fired off because the ligament is not as strong. And that's what we call ligament laxity. And so this is probably the best place that prolotherapy works because when we inject the prolotherapy around that ligament or in that ligament, it stimulates those fibroblasts to lay down new, stronger collagen, so that way the ligament doesn't move as much, the pain fibers aren't sent off as much, and you get to have increased stability in the joint. So that is just a basic kind of 36,000 foot view of prolotherapy. Uh, and so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was educational and you took something from it. If not, let me know and I will start making some changes on these videos. But for the time being, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.